Motion charts allow you to visualize your data in five dimensions. You select metrics to be represented on the X and Y axis and by the size and color of the dots. And you can see how the data changes over time. A motion chart can help you identify patterns and relationships in your data that you might otherwise miss. Access motion charts by clicking Visualize. The Visualize button is available in most reports that show tables. Each dot on the motion chart will be a data point from the report that launched it. So for example, if you click Visualize on a keyword report, each dot will be a keyword. You can mouse over each dot to see its label and by clicking it, you can make the label stay visible, as we've done here for the keyword Google Store. In this chart, the x-axis is pages per visit and the y-axis is visits. The color of each dot represents the average value. The size of the dots represents the bounce rate. In this motion chart, you can see right away that one keyword is much more valuable than the others. Menus are available on each axis and for dot color and size so that you can select metrics. You can view the data over time by either dragging the slider or by pressing the play button. You can also change the scale of the X and Y axis to linear or logarithmic. By selecting trails and dragging the slider, you can plot the history of one or more data points over time. You can save the settings of any motion chart so that you can access it later. To do this, click Link to Chart and copy and save the link that's provided. Let's use motion charts to analyze two keywords from the Google Store. The slide compares two motion charts side by side, one chart for each keyword. The same metrics are used in both charts. By comparing the size of the dots, we can see that the keyword on the left attracts much less revenue than the keyword on the right. But even though it brings in less revenue, the conversion rates on the left are much higher, indicated by the warmer colors so it might be appropriate to try to attract more traffic on this keyword by buying it. The keyword on the right is clearly valuable because it brings in so much revenue, but the low conversion rate suggests that it would be better to attract this traffic organically rather than through paid search. Both keywords are attracting mostly new visitors, so it might make sense to create promotional programs for existing customers.